Hello, everyone. Hello. A little uh, sinus sinus pressure from lots of traveling. Look, I'm back home. I'm back in my home. I'm back in my apartment. And there's a special guest for a first day back in the apartment. Come out of the closet, Nina! Oh, just like a top! Yay! Just like a top. Wait, but is it weird? Hello, everyone. Is it, Hello. is it weird to come out of the closet when you don't live here anymore? Nina doesn't live here anymore. Nina doesn't live here anymore. Um, it is weird. It's weird. It's kind of weird, right? Well, it's weird just because there's... It's like your things aren't in there anymore. Exactly. Um, but you know, Nina moved. My, Nina's my, living, Nina moved on her own. I live by myself. Be on your own. Fly, little bird. <laughs> Fly. Um. Maybe you should come and do like what they do on VH1, where they're like houses of the star. You should come knock on my door and come. Oh yeah, do we do a like thing. a cribs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do cribs. Yeah. Do cribs. Yeah, Nina cribs. Broke a quib quibs. Broke a quibs. <laughs> Hi guys. So I'm home. From You're home from New York City. New York. Um, my big Broadway space, like full Tony Weekend vlog, will be up either later today or first thing tomorrow morning. So, check check Broadway space for that. Um, I mean, can you sum it up in a word? Liza. That's the only word I can. Look there, she has on the. I can't believe that's staying there. I literally just put an album on a hook. Mm. Um, Sounds like the 1940s. <laughs> Get that album on the hook. I just put an album on the hook. I just put an album on the hook. It's like I drop. It drops on Tuesday. On I the hook. Put, put it on the hook. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it was a crazy trip. It was a crazy, crazy trip. And I'm. I. I wish it could have been longer, but it. You know, I'm also kind of glad to come here and plan getting there again right away. So whatever that means. I'm gonna go too. Yeah. We have Maybe I should go, uh, That's mine. That's not mine. Maybe I should go to New York and do monologues in the subway, busk busk like that. Like cuz you know people That's a good idea. Oh, let's do scenes. Let's go do scenes. We should like do scenes that like people think were like like scenes that would work in the setting of a subway car or Yeah, but then people wouldn't be so inclined to give us money. Oh, you're looking to make money. Yeah. Hmm. That's what you busk for. Well, but then you then you bow. Or we do scenes. As long as you bow afterwards. What if we do scenes? They know like, that it was an act. That's what you think. <laughs> what if we do scenes, like very famous scenes? Yeah. Like if you and I. Like Casablanca. Yes. <laughs> or we could also. Or like whatever the really popular TV show of the time that we're about, we like redo. Let's do episodes. Time. Let's do episodes. Let's go in the subway and do episodes of Thirty Rock, and I will play all the women, <laughs> and you will play all the. Men. I'll just play Alec Baldwin. No, you just play all the men. I get to play Tracy Morgan. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. And let's do it at the Thirty Rock station. Wait, this is a great idea. Don't anyone steal this? You know idea. what's funny is when I was at the Tonys the other day. Isn't that fun to say? Um. Ah, uh, the like Radio City is right by Thirty Rock, and it's That's so funny to now, yeah, yeah, and it's so funny to now be, like Thirty Rock is now, like it's always been Thirty Rock, right? But now, but it's now it's so. like Thirty Rock, and now it's like, thank it's you, Tina Extra Faye. busy, like te- like it's extra touristy. And, thank you, Tina Fey. Yeah, thanks, Tina Fey. You've made a landmark, landmark year. Landmarkstress. <laughs> Tina Fey, the landmarkstress. Okay, so on the plane last night, this is what I actually really want to talk about. Mm-hmm. On the plane last night. I watched a movie that I had never seen before, and I loved it. What is that? He's just not that into you. It, maybe it's because on an airplane, there's low expectations on an airplane. There, it's hard to watch a movie on the airplane. Here's what happened to me, though. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. And next thing you know, there's my ex-boyfriend. He had, like, one little scene. Do you know what it's like... <laughs> To see your ex-boyfriend and he's just not that into you? No, I don't. It's really bizarre. Yeah, that's that's like when you went and you said, one please, for love. Actually. actually. Yeah, yeah. I don't, like, romantic comedies and I have a very, um, complicated relationship. Do you want to see the proposal? Oh my god, so I bad. actually really do. Cause Wait, okay, so what, so what's new with you? 
I live in a new apartment um, by myself and it's really something special. I don't have a couch or a table. Didn't you just get a couch? Yes. Some friends really pulled through. Lisa, Hugh, Sophie. You always do this. <laughs> if they're watching, they feel good there. <laughs> It's just amazing how months later you do it on the first time. Oh, I was just going to tell you, guess what I was going to do in your honor? What? I have a little recycling closet in my kitchen. <laughs> it's like where my mop and broom and my recycling that. Uh -huh. I'm thinking of dedicating it to you, putting a plaque in your honor on it. The Ryan O'Connor Recycling Closet. Are you guys going to say, what would Julia Roberts do? WWJD at the bottom. JRD. Oh, yeah, that's the other one. Yeah, that's the other one. <laughs> WWJRD. <clears throat> Would you like that, Rory? Yeah, that's cute. I like that. Would it make you recycle? It makes me feel a little dead, though. Why? Like it's an immemorial. Like it's a memorial plaque. Would you want it to say in honor and respect? With, with love that, and respect. That's Yeah, with love and respect. It's, it's more alive. Um, Legally Blonde Tour comes here really soon. I know. I don't want to talk about it yet because... <laughs> Shouldn't I be in it? Something? I think you should crash the stage somehow. People were wondering why you didn't push Becky Gusvig off the stage at the Tonys. Oof, Becky. <laughs> Listen, also. She sounded great, though. She sounded great. <clears throat> she I was. Mean, as great as anyone could sound with that sound. Ooh. Oof. Well, and as great as anyone could sound as not me, frankly. Oh, right. That, that too. That too. Bet who. She didn't do that thing. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Everyone knows what you're talking about. She didn't do it. I watched. <laughs> well, what else? I guess we're out of things to talk no, about. No, let's talk about... We've run out. That's why she moved out. Yeah, out there's nothing to else about. to say. It's kind of fun to be back here. Well, I'm wondering how it's like to not live with me. Uh, well, it's weird because I don't know because I've been up in Bel Air. I like, I just got like. back here last you, night. I don't know what it's like. Actually, at one thirty this morning, my plane got in. Oh, so hard. Flew in from the Tonys on my plane. plane. Chris Matthews was on my plane. Oh, my dad's going to like that. He's Shout out to you, Dad. He was crazy, man. What crazy, do you mean? man. When we got off the plane, obviously he had just like slept on the plane. And he was standing outside the plane with like crazy hair and was like this, waiting for somebody to get off the plane. Oh, he was sleepy. He was sleepy, yeah. But he looked so crazy. Um, what else? Is there anything in the news we should talk? So, you know, Chris Matthews? Anything in the news? Anything I don't know in what's in the news. I'm not even up. I'm not even caught up on so you think you can dance, dance, dance. Mm. God, you know what? Do you watch Real Housewives of New Jersey? Oh, yes. And the other night at a Tony party, I met Jill Zarin from Real Housewives wow. of New York. Wow, wow, That was so exciting. How does she look in real life? Gorgeous. I love her. I love her, too. And Wayne was there, remember? Beat him up, Wayne. Beat yep. him up, Wayne. I only saw a couple episodes of New York. Didn't really see any of the other ones, but this New Jersey is like Shakespearean. It's amazing. Drama. It's amazing. Tra it's amazing. She says, I'm going to wear you like last year's. I wear no, your she skin. said Take she skin. loves me. I don't know if she wants to... If she wants to be me or skin me and wear me like last, last year's Versace. Versace. Not, not now, but her taste is so tacky that she's wearing last, last year's. I mean, that... Words like that. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, if you're not watching Real Housewives of New Jersey, that you should be. I really think it's the best me. one. Do you know what's next? One. Oh, do you know what's next? Oh, I heard. It's so, we're so up your alley that I can't even believe that you're not going to move there. I heard what it was and I forget. We're running out of time. Do you want to? I'll give you a clue. Hey, I'll charades it. Okay. Okay. Two words. First word. Three syllables. First syllable. Cut. Shred. Grind. Wash. Washington, D.C. Oh, yeah, I did know that. I did hear that because they were wondering if Michelle would do it. I mean, not really, but... Can you believe that, Washington, D.C.? That's going to be really You're good. You're going to love that one. That's going to be really good. Remember when we went on that tour? Yeah, I like Washington, D.C. Of all the monuments, thanks to Matt Kemeny. Rest in peace. Oh. You let me do that, shout out. Well, yeah. I have respect for the dead. But not the living. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>